everybody. How's it going? Happy Friday. So, today's video is going to be um, a little bit of an experiment. <laughs> uh, yesterday, I went to the craft store. Not my usual one. But, while I was there, I picked up a pack of palette knives. Because I want to see if it's easier to use the um, modeling paste with a palette knife instead of a brush. It makes more sense to me that it would be. Um, so, <laughs> it's mixing a color and it's kind of weird. Um, yeah, I'm going to experiment with that today. And I got these little um, 4x6 canvas panels yesterday as well at the uh, Dollar Tree. So, uh, I'm just going to see how it goes. It may not work. It may not turn out into be a very great looking thing, but we're going to try it. Also, um, I'm still trying to figure out the space on my phone. I think I have enough space for a video, but if I get cut off, I'll come back and do a second part because I don't, um, still don't have a way to edit my videos. Yeah. I hope you've had a good week. This, this may not turn out great, but it's just something, like I said, kind of a practice. Because I have um, a mixed media piece that I'm working on. I'm going to need to do... Uh, I'm going to use modeling paste on that, and I want to get some practice with the palette knives before I jump into that larger piece. It's kind of hard for me to figure out the angle I'm supposed to be doing. I'm working from um, a still life, so... Probably like, what kind of still life is she doing with that color? First of all, the color's a little bit off. <laughs> it really shouldn't be that color. Um, but, yeah. It's, um... God, I don't even want to say what it is right now. <laughs> um, but, I forgot what started that tangent. Never mind. Anyway. don't know where I was going with that, and I can't remember where I even started with it, so. See what happens? I go to two videos a week, and now I'm out of practice with talking while I work. <laughs> oh, that's so far off. Oh, my God. I mixed the paint with the modeling paste this time, which is also something different. Um, I don't usually do that. I'm just playing around anyway, so. Living and learning. Very far apart on this. Much more than it should be. It's cool, though. It's definitely easier to move it around with one of these. And again, I'm not using just pure modeling paste here. It has some paint mixed in it, which probably makes it more manageable. I feel like I'm, mix I'm wasting a lot of it. Because it, it just like... gets too smeared onto the palette knife. Like everything else I'll need to practice. It's okay. It's alright. <laughs> hmm. Alright. The colors are a little bit off. It should be, um, kind of a lot off, so, mix in some purple, 
I'm not really going for hyper realism anyway, but it would be nice to get it a little more where it should be. <laughs> I would share, make a video of the, ooh, um, mixed media piece I'm going to be working on, but the size of it and the space that I have to work in, it make, it's, I can't really get it on camera very well, so I may experiment with moving stuff around, see if there's a way that I can make that happen. If not, I can just do something else. <laughs> oh, almost sent my paint palette flying. <laughs> that would not have been good. That wouldn't have been an easy mess to clean up. Okay. It's a neat way to work. It is a I can get why people do this. It's also a very small thing to practice on with a palette knife, I think. Like I said, it's only a four by six panel, so I think I lost the, the modeling paste. I got too thinned out. It's alright. There's a color that I'm not getting in here. Can't figure it out. Bum, bum, bum. Where is it? Ah. Like I said, if I um, if the video cuts off, I'll just post it and then record the second part to it. So I kind of feel like filming today, so. But I'm not sure. I do feel like filming today. There's no kind of about it. I'm just not sure how much um, space my phone has. Every time I think I figured it out, my phone zings me and it's like, Ha, ah, you didn't figure it out. You fiend. I do talk to my inanimate objects sometimes. Don't judge, you know you do it too. So I mix a little more modeling paste in with this black. Now something I've got to keep in mind, and hopefully I haven't um, already crossed the line on this, but if you get the modeling paste on, I think I mentioned before, too thick, it will crack as it dries. So. I'm not quite sure because I don't usually, again, I don't usually paint like this with a palette knife. And also, I don't usually mix the paint in with the modeling paste at the beginning. So I, I usually paint over it, I think. So I'm not sure how much it thins it out as far as, you know, how much you can really do with it before you've gone, you've put too much and then it cracks when it dries. So I will, I will learn, I guess. I got these to practice on anyway, like I mentioned. Um, Dollar Tree has, their craft section is getting, it's kind of impressive now. They've got all kinds of things like, what, what are you doing with this? They even had um, X-Acto knives and blades and for them and um, the kind of eraser you use to get rid of rubber cement. I love those erasers. I mean, so all kinds of stuff. Um, but yeah, they had a three pack of four by six canvas panels. So I picked those up to practice on, and yeah, it's Dollar Tree, so it's only a dollar. They're good little practice things. I still might 
be a little too far away. Oh well. My palette is a mess right now. Holy moly. There's my red. <laughs> Look, I'm asking where my red is. This is literally right in front of me. There's this giant jar. How do I miss that? I don't know. If it were a snake, it would have bitten me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard anyone say that in person. I mean, other than as a joke. <laughs> Alright, some more modeling paste. And my crimson red that I just showed you. I'm trying to figure out which of my palette knives to get. I think I mentioned at the beginning. I told you I got a new pack of them, but I don't know that I mentioned there were six packs, so these are the other five. Ooh. Trying to figure out which one to use. Let's go with the... I'm gonna go with this one. Ooh la la, fancy. Right. And they're plastic, so it was a six pack that was... Let's believe it was... Boy, I got tongue-tied there, didn't I? It was three nineteen before tax, and then at checkout they had a twenty percent off coupon, so I got it for like two something. I want to say by the time we were done, it was like two seventy four for a pack of six. That's not bad. I have one metal palette knife somewhere. Somewhere is not where I am. So fat lot of good it did me. That's why I had to get these. I'm not sure how well that red's going to show contrast with the... We'll figure it out. Uh. You know I'm getting the paint on the wrong side. How do you... When it's on the top, how does it work when you... <laughs> oh dear. In case my video cuts off, I will say um, thank you guys again for taking the time to watch my videos, choosing to spend your time doing that. I do appreciate it. And, uh, here. Oh, it's much wider than I meant for it to be. And it just keeps getting away from me. Um, <laughs> yeah, but thank you. For choosing to spend your time watching my videos and um you know I've cut back on how many I've done. I don't this is the first week that I've done only two videos instead of doing one video every day. Instead of daily videos, I've gone to twice a week. But um I don't know if I'll stick to only doing two or if I'll come in and do more. I kind of miss it, and then I kind of am like, okay, well that's cool. I'm not as stressed about doing video every day, so I don't know. I haven't sorted it out yet, but it at least gives me some time to take a break and think about it. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to get some more of that red. So you can probably figure out by now, I'm trying to, the still life is actually a pair of my sunglasses, <laughs> or it should be. Um, I, I also got a pair of sunglasses at the Dollar Tree, and they're really cute. They're, you wouldn't know it from looking at the painting, <laughs> but they are really cute, and um, I like the way they look on me. I don't like to spend a lot of money on sunglasses. If there are people who do, and that's really cool, that's what you know you're into. I just, I you know, I I would, I'd be so down 
if I spent a lot of money on sunglasses and then I lost them or I broke them or they got a, a scratch on them, you know, or somewhere and somebody actually stole them, you know, so I find lots of cute sunglasses that work really well at, you know, discount stores like TJ Maxx or Dollar Tree. These has some, I've always gotten some, over the years I've gotten some really cute sunglasses from Dollar Tree. Um, yeah. Yay, sunglasses. <laughs> I don't spend more than $5 on a pair of sunglasses. That's just me. Anyway. How many times can I say sunglasses in a video? <laughs> See, I'm also trying to use it like a brush, which is not, clearly not the way to do it. I'll learn. I mean, this isn't something I'm used to doing. Boy, like I said, the sunglasses in real life, see there I go with that word again, <laughs> are um, definitely cuter than they are in the, <laughs> in this painting. Oh my god, I may ba go back over this with a brush, um, bring out some of the, <laughs> some of the details, holy moly. I'm having fun though. I hope y'all are having fun watching this. And you know me, right? So as far as the way I work, inevitably, some of that laser cut iridescent paste is going to find its way. Woo! Almost lost the whole palette on the, um, onto the lenses of these. I can't not do it. I just can't not do it. <laughs> oh, I think I'm going to actually lose the earpiece on this. funny. Oh! You know, I got the top going a little too weird. Oh well. Oh well. Probably stand to use a larger palette knife on the on that spot. Oh, I need more space. What is that? Is that paint or is that? I knew it. That was a fur, and the animal's fur got into that paint. I'm going to have to show you these sunglasses so you know that they look better than that. <laughs> yeah. Should be more space between. I got the angle all banjaxed here.
pop art abstraction nonsense. That works, right? Maybe scrap the nonsense word. Someone might be bothered. <laughs> Look at that! What is that? Oh, Lord. Slap some black paint on here. Where that goes. And with a palette knife, you actually can slap the paint on there. Oh, wee. This is... Not good. <laughs> That's just gotten away from me. Is that kind of lo having lost the plot? I don't know. This is just for practice. <laughs> interesting to see if I haven't gotten too much modeling paste on this thing. Hmm. I think I just put my finger in that paint. I have, see, I still keep trying to use it like a paintbrush. That's the problem, too. I'll get used to them. It's good to practice this on here instead of just diving right into the other painting I'm working on. Because that one doesn't leave a lot of room for error. Um, I already have the background done on it. And I really like the background, so... I mess up and uh, it's mixed media so put the other pieces the drawing on there and then the Mod Podge and, and, and modeling paste and all that goodness has to go on top of that so it's all muddied together it's good to practice have to practice things Whew, that's just bad okay helicopter. Sounds like a very low flying helicopter. They're not looking for somebody. Do you ever panic when you hear a helicopter? Like, oh my god, somebody escaped. Just in case we get kicked off, you know, as usual, um, any, any comments you want to leave, any advice, if you have any advice about using palette knives, um, just want to say hi, any, um, you know, critiques or anything, any suggestions on what you'd like to see, feel free and leave that in the comments section below. I got so tongue-tied there. Um. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And any videos of mine that you like, please feel free to share them on the links on your social media pages or text them to your friends, however you prefer to do that. Really do appreciate it. I hope you all have had a good week and that you um, have a great weekend. I will be back on Monday. Might sneak some extra videos in next week, I'm not sure, but... Um, Again, if you subscribe to my channel, you'll get the notifications, so any surprise videos I share or anything like that, you won't miss out on them. I'll go a little bit longer as long as the camera lets me, but I think I get all that in there in case I get cut off. Holy...
I'll probably add the, um, I'm gonna have to wait to add the laser cut paste until later because it's just too wet right now. Um, I'm gonna add some orange though, for some of the highlights. It's a good little end of the week project. Mm -hmm. Boy, that orange did mix too much red in it. The red has a lot of black in it now. I promise I do know how to mix my colors. I just get nervous when, <laughs> when I have to talk while I'm doing it. Okay. Ugh, I messed that up. Blah. That's no good. I may just have to step away from this. I might have done too much. Really need to add some white highlights too. One way or another, hopefully you learned something from watching this. <laughs> Either way, I hope that you've enjoyed it. Okay. Let me see. A little bit of white. Really thin brush. Still going, so I guess I cleared a decent amount of stuff off my phone. Ah, <laughs> oh, put too much on there. Lurg. Let's see. Meh. Another one bites the dust. Um, my palette knife just fell on the floor. My dog's looking at it like, what? <laughs> you know you dropped that, Mom? Yes. Yes, I do. Don't eat it. <laughs> These sunglasses definitely <laughs> have uh, deviated from the way they look in real life. It's okay. We'll just call it artistic license, right? <laughs> Inadvertent artistic license. Okay. All right, well. Eh! Can't go right. All right, well, we are at the 30 minute mark. I kind of want to see how much time I can get in here. Let's see.
I always like that line. I don't know. You can probably hear the music in the background, but I don't know if you can understand what they said, what they say, what they are saying. Um, but he said, um, worry not, all things are well. And I, I like that line. I always kind of wait for it. I got a little carried away with the white here. But I'm having fun. So, let me see. I'm gonna see if this will give me just long enough to put some laser cut iridescent paste on there. I know we went pretty long today. It's maybe one of the longest videos, but you haven't heard from me for a few days, so maybe you missed me. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's right here. I just need a brush. Okay, we're still going. Sweet. Black. My hair stuck in my lip. The lenses might not be dry enough for me to do this, but I'm going to try anyway. Good lord. Do you hear that sound? It's like Godzilla. Okay. It's really not. It's just, I think, it might be garbage day. Uh. Does it work? Does it work? Did I get it too soon? Oh, look at that. Ow! Yeah. Too wet. I'll try it anyway. <laughs> Boo wee, that went on pretty thick. I wonder if I can get that on there with my finger. Can I do it? Let's see. Eh. Oh, I did it. <laughs> 